Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own VPN server in AWS. We're going to use OpenVPN as the software solution for this. So with that, let's get going. All right, I'm logged in here. I'm in the EC2 management console in AWS. See, there's really not a lot um, created, although it looks like I have an extra security group, but I'll walk you through the setup of that as well. The first thing that we need is our very own Elastic IP address. This is so we have a dedicated IP address for our machine. It's not going to change if we shut it down or whatnot. All right, so click on uh, Allocate New Address. And there it is. It's 18, 210, blah, blah, blah. I'll forget that in a minute. Next thing we need to do is create a security group. So the VPN solution, uh, OpenVPN, it, it needs at least three open ports. So the three that we have to have are um, tw port 22 for SSH. Um, that's so we can log in and configure uh, what needs to be configured. We also need TCP port 943. And finally, we need UDP port 1194. Um, I'm going to set these to just anywhere. Best practice would be to make it your IP address or something. But this is just a demo. I'm going to turn it off when I'm done. Um, so this is going to be AWS uh, CAS um, VPN SG. Let's see if I can't make this longer. And VPN SG. Okay. SG is for a security group. Hit create. That creates my security group. The next thing I need is a server. Uh, looks like I've already had to sh shut one down so far. Um, so I'll hit launch instance. I'm going to use this, uh, not the version 2 of Amazon Linux. I haven't tested this with that. It, I don't know if it's CentOS 7 or 6. I know that this one right here, the original, is CentOS 6. And I'll show you why we need that in just a minute. Uh, I'm going to use the free tier for this uh, tutorial, uh, mostly because I'm cheap. But if you notice, it has low to moderate network performance. If you're using this VPN for everyday stuff, uh, especially like video streaming or whatnot, you might want to bump it up to something that has at least moderate network performance. Uh, I don't know. You can test and learn to figure out exactly what you need. So I hit next. I don't need to make any changes down here. And I don't need any additional storage. Note that the server logs are not going to be encrypted. Don't do illegal things with this. Um, <clears throat> the name, I'm just going to call this uh, Open VPN Server. Real original. Next, I'm going to configure the security group and use the one that I already created. So, um, see, this is the one I created just a couple of minutes ago. Yep. Review and launch. Scroll through here real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. It's good to me. So I'll hit launch. Make sure you have that key pair, not that one, but one that you can get access to on your machine. I hit launch. This should just take a minute or so to come up. While it's coming up, I'm going to go ahead and attach that Elastic IP address. I think it'll let me do it now. Actions, associate address. Nope, won't let me do it yet. Open VPN server. Okay, wife. Uh, so I clicked that instance ID, it popped up down here. I know that's the name of it, Open VPN server. Click associate. And I have to wait a minute for it to start up completely. Sorry about that. It says it's running. All right, lucky for us, the server finally came up. I don't know what was going on. So we'll go back and associate this Elastic IP address with that instance. So you go to Associate, and you click on the instance that you want, and hit Associate. And it succeeded. All right, I'm going to copy this IP address, because I will lose it, and we'll have to go back there. Um, so the next thing that I need to do is 
SSH into that machine. So I keep all my keys. You definitely need to know, that, know all of this. The username is always EC2 user at, and you put the IP address in there. Yes, it's okay with me. Um, so we need to update this box. All right, so um, while that's updating, I'm going to show you the software that we're going to use. It's called OpenVPN.net. Um, yeah, that that is uh, that's the address of where you go if you want to look more into this. It'll tell you how to do this, but I like videos. <clears throat> um, so in here, since we're going to use uh, CentOS 6, right? This is something that kind of a gotcha here. They provide packages for all different kinds of um, operating systems. So I went to VPN solution and and then uh, software packages and then click on CentOS and to get the latest one that would be this one right here. Um, so you can copy the link because you don't want to download it to this machine. I mean you could. Uh, I really want it on my server though. Um, so I see in the background that this completed. Um, so the next thing, let me actually, I do need to copy the link address here. Copy link address. Uh, and make sure you get the 64-bit one. Alright, so that machine's updated. Uh, so now I need to pull down that software package. Uh, I'm just going to use curl. I'll pull it down. And the next thing is uh, to install the package. Um, Yep, I'll just go to type RPN and it's RPM. Embarrassing. Okay, hit enter. It's going to do its thing for a minute. Uh, but then it's going to spit out some information that we want. Um, take initial note of this. This is almost the information that we need. Um, and I say almost, look at this. It tells me the IP address of the server is 172, blah, blah, blah. And it's it's right. That is the IP address, kind of. That's the private IP address, meaning from my browser, I can't get there. Right? So what I'm going to do first is I am going to change the password, like this thing says. I need to set the admin password for this OpenVPN user. Right, so the way we're going to do that, you have to use sudo, it doesn't tell you that. The installation creates this OpenVPN user, by the way. So hit enter and make this a very secure password. Hmm, I remember that. Okay, it, it, it said it did it, so let's take a look. That's not what I wanted. I wanted my IP address. I told you I'd have to go back to this. So you want to get the elastic IP address, paste it in there, and what's that port? 943 admin? Almost, maybe. It's like it wants you to put HTTPS in front. Note that um, you don't have a valid signed certificate right now. Um, that's that's kind of okay, kind of not. I guess it depends on what you're going to use this for. I just move on forward. There we are. So this is the admin login for our VPN server. Once you get this configured, if this, if I weren't going to turn this off as soon as the video is done, I would be um, hiding access to this because I don't want people to come knocking on my door. Um, so I'm going to log in here. This is the uh, password that you created in our terminal when you typed uh, password open VPN, of course. Okay, and like any uh, good citizen, you should read the entire uh, whatever this is. All right, so you can see the server's on. You can see it has a server name. This is the admin console. It lets you do, uh, I don't know, administrative stuff. All right, so all I really need to do, I need to update the IP address because, frankly, it's wrong. 
uh, and that's going to cause some other issues later on. So you go to network settings, right here is the IP address. I'm going to paste in the Elastic IP again. Scroll down to the bottom and hit save settings. Up here, this should say um, settings change, but then remember you have to click update running server for them to change it for them to take effect. Uh, and make sure that this is all green. I think it's red if it fails, so you see the background's kind of green. Hopefully you're not colorblind. All right, so I've made it this far. Let me log out of the admin console because now I want to show you how to connect to this. Um, well, really you just delete the admin part from the URL and say 943. Um, you only have to do this part once. This is to set up your connection from your machine to the VPN. And it does that, we're going to do that with a, with a certificate. So um, let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. So right now I'm just on the regular internet. I don't have a VPN connection. Um, my username is openvpn and my password, I type that right, there you go. And the first time you do this is going to come up with this. So. Um, what you want to do is download, so I'm on a Mac, so I would download this one. If you're on Windows, you would download this one. So I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to show you how to install something that's stupid. Um, so if you already have it, which if it's in the taskbar, it looks like this one right here. Okay, you can just download this connection profile. Now this is your certificate. This is what you present to the VPN server to say, Hey, I am who I say I am. You should let me in. Right? So it downloads this file, client.openvpn or something. And I can log out of this now because I don't care anymore. Oh, I'm not going to show you my IP address. I'll do this a different way. Um, connect. I want to go to import, and I'm going to import it from a local file. This is importing that certificate that I just downloaded, right? Um, so you click on the cert, hit open, and it comes up here and nicely says the connection has been saved, but you're still not connected. See how it has this line through it? And go up here, see how this server is now here? It wasn't here before. You hit connect as open VPN, it says connecting, and again, since this, uh, we don't have a signed SSL cert, or I forgot all of that stuff, it's not going to let us in. Um, nicely so anyway I just want to say yes to allow this it's completely fine and it's gonna pop up and say great you're mostly there now I just need your password again with the password click connect and look at that I have now connected um, so remember the my IP address for that server is 18 210 174 198 so if I just do like a quick what's my IP address in Google it shows up as my elastic IP address so now my location is um, hidden I guess or you know traffic isn't associated back with my IP address all right that's all there is to it now you're connected if you want to disconnect you come up here and you go to move you go to disconnect right there pretty simple um, you can go a lot further in this, creating separate users, um, restricting access to AWS subnets. I might show some stuff like that, show you how to use a Bastion host. And, uh, but that's a video for a future tutorial. If you have any questions or comments or want to add something, please comment below. Uh, please don't subscribe. Don't like my videos. I hate when people do that. Thank you so much.